Hi there, I'm Mike Lawson, the team leader for EWB's Agriculture Value Chains program in Ghana. And I want to introduce you to my good friend and host father, Hussein. Hussein is a small farmer in northern Ghana, and he's trying his best. Um, but for Hussein to be successful, he needs a lot of different things to go right for him. He needs to interact with a lot of different businesses in the market system. He needs to be able to buy seeds and fertilizer at a good price and on time. He needs to find somebody to plow his field for him with a tractor. He needs to find labor to help him weed and sometimes chemicals to kill different pests. And at the end of the day, with his crop that he's going to eat some of, he also needs to find a market, someone who can buy at a good price to give him the money to live his life. Now, living with Hussein, I've realized that many of these systems are broken. They're late, they're non-existent, they're too expensive, they're giving him too low of a price. And the development sector is trying to create change in all of these different places, um, but for the most part, they're failing to create sustainable change. And there's two ways that I see that they're failing. One is that projects are trying to play these roles directly to try and sell him fertilizer at a subsidized price, and when they pull out, it doesn't exist anymore. The second reason is that donors are too restrictive. Projects will stick to the plan, even if it's failing in the first week, they'll continue to do it for the full three years of the project. And this is where my team, the ABC team, is choosing to intervene. We are trying to help projects learn from what's not working and take those failures and turn them into successes. And I want to give you an example of a good friend by the name of Mina Shahid. Uh, you may remember Mina from his time at the U of T chapter. Um, Mina is working with a project called the Soil Health Project in Northern Ghana. It's a big project working with lots of farmers, multiple millions of dollars, broadly with the goal of addressing the issue that the, the soil quality in Hussein's field is terrible. The soil is eroding and there's no nutrients. And a, an example of a key intervention that they're doing is trying to get organic fertilizer available to Hussein. And the way they're doing that at a design level is to do hundreds and hundreds of demonstration farms to show the effects of organic fertilizer so that farmers like Hussein will see it and adopt it. Mina gets in the scene and he starts to ask some questions to see how well is this working. He talks to the farmers and finds out that they do see the benefit of the fertilizer, but when they go to buy it, it's not available. So as well as the demonstration farm is showing that, they're, the farmers can't access it. So Mina talks to the managers, he gets a bit of space to innovate, and he does two things. One, he goes to the source, the company producing the fertilizer, and tries to understand what are their issues with distribution, why is it not reaching the farmer, and two, what is their marketing strategy? Do they know their customers? Do they know that these farmers are interested? And the second thing Mina's working towards is in the communities where they have done the demo, when it gets to harvest time, when farmers are really counting the cobs of corn and seeing the yield, bring the business there, introduce them to the farmer, and create that sustainable market linkage so that next year they can buy the fertilizer directly from the source. Um, on a small scale, it's showing results. For that to scale, even within this one project, we need to go up a level, and Mina is traveling, putting on his suit and tie, going to a meeting in the capital city to explain his approach to the donor so they can have a wider impact. But if we step back to Hussein, fertilizer alone is not enough. Many of these things need to work, and so the ABC team is working at all points in the system. David Taylor is digging deep into understanding seed and what it's gonna take for Hussein to buy better seeds. Lauren Dodds is looking at tractors and the way that farmers are getting credit to plow their fields. Ben Best is digging deep into the supply of chemicals to see how can wholesalers and warehouses give better deals to those retailers who give good advice on how to apply the chemicals. On the marketing side, we've had Mark Brown really understanding processors and factories to say how they can link better with farmers like Hussein. And at the development sector level, we've got Lindsay Hannigan, who has been trying to get better project managers who are more flexible, who are more willing to let this type of innovation uh, happen. Now that's a bit of the team Right now, moving forward, there's kind of two parts to the strategy. One is to take that innovative service that Mina provided to his project 
and make it more widely available to find the projects in the sector that are willing to learn from their failure and willing to change. The second part is to dig deeper into the systemic causes of the development system and work at the design phase to make more flexible project design and smarter interventions that can lead to sustainable impact. That's the ABC team, and we're really looking forward to seeing you at the conference. We're gonna have sessions that let you dig deep into the dynamics of these systems to see what are the challenges we're grappling with, and look forward to seeing you in Ottawa in January. Thanks.